Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator, where last episode we took over some territory from these guys down over here. And they're going to be pretty upset about that. They're probably going to want to attack us here. And to that end, we definitely want to make this into like a fortress city. Honestly, I think that we should... The first thing fort uses three points, and each subsequent fort uses one. We currently use zero out of six fort points. Exceeding this limit is possible, but comes at a great expense. Interesting. But I think that we should absolutely fortify this right here, and ideally something up over here as well. Like, this settlement would be maybe a good option, or we make this into a city, or we just build forts here. Okay, we currently use six out of six fort points here. So I'd like to get rid of the fort here and get rid of the fort here. So now we use zero of six. That would be three, four, five, and six, like that. And then this over here, we could, we could build here or we could build here. And I think this is a slightly better location to build because that will control these two points. And then we've got the choke point here. So they, they could come around here, but then they would just get stopped at this fort, right? That would be the idea. So one and then one, two, three. So four in total. And that should get that going in theory. Now this needs a governor and that would be this guy. That'll be fine. And you are currently heading here. Honestly, I want you to come back over this way. And then where's this other force at? Oh no, they're up over here. I want these guys to come down here. That is correct. And I want these to come up here. Yep, that looks good. So that'll be fine for now. We need to do some road build there. And then we can build some farming settlements in some of these areas, which we are delighted to do. And then we can build a few slave estates as well, which we will, will of course, be very happy to do. These guys, they're going to need to get their food back. So that's that's going to be a thing. We're going to have them come sit down over here. I think for the moment, they need to recover their food. We have some prosperity going on, and we'll take some stability. Absolutely wonderful. Any of this territory actually colonizable? The answer is no. Okay. So we're hopping in over here. Now I want to go on to road build. You're, oh, you're exiled. Right. They have to come all the way back to our territory. No, they don't. Okay, cool. We just needed to tick. So that's fine. They're going to build like this. Make sure there's a connection here. And then after that, to be honest, there's not that much else that needs to be built over here. So we would come out over this way for sure. Make sure that that's connected. And probably like a connection out over here or something. But that's kind of it for now. That would be all they'd need to build. So then we've got these guys down over here. They are working on getting their food back. That's kind of mission number one for right now. So we're going to have them sit here. And they should be gaining food now. Yes. We're going to let them sit here for a moment. We're going to put them on unit reorg. We have a slave rebellion up over here. Okay. We're gonna hire these mercs. We're gonna put them on unit reorg, and they're going to head up over this way. Okay, so that seems fine for now. We have pops dying out over here. Now we've been working on the food here, but it's definitely not done. I wanna import some rice over here, and this is from China. Okay, sure. So that's fine. We'll import some rice here. That will help matters anyway. And we should also probably cancel the sheep here and import grain. Okay, so it'll be something like that. Now, let's see what this is like, but this is still in January, so... Okay, so it's now February. This is only minus one, so that should be pretty decent in theory. So checking up over here, these guys have occupied here, which is not surprising. Okay, they're walking out this direction for now. Looks good. We're on unit reorg right now, so we're moving slower than they are. And I'd like to cap this back. We don't really have much morale right now, so are they making for this fort? Heading down this way? I'm not sure where they're going. We're going to cap this. 
And at this point, we are going to... Okay, we're no longer on unit reorg. Sure. Let's actually go on to force march. No, I don't want to lose the army morale recovery. Let's just walk up this way. Okay, so we lost our oratory researcher, and we'll put this guy in. Looks good. We also have some pops starving out over this direction. Okay, so I'm going to put in a farmer's market here, and let's see where else we have. So this is currently starving. We could definitely import some more food here. We have a fair amount of it coming in. Let's cancel this stone, and let's import some grain. Okay, it is March, though. This should be starting to improve very, very soon. Okay, yep, that's positive. So that looks good. Now we've got this down here. This is positive. We've got this out over here. So this is a very similar sort of situation, right? I'm going to remove the tavern, and we're going to put in a farmer's market there. There's just some of these areas where we have some food issues. So down over here, these guys are at 144. Okay, that looks good. So we're going to put them on the road build. They're going to build roads out over this direction, and then building a road up to here. There's already a road up this way, so that looks good. And then we could just connect it here. And then I suppose we could just build a road that kind of cross hatches like that. We could even, if we really wanted to, build that, and that'll be fine. Okay, so we will not negotiate with slaves. And these guys have uh, gotten themselves a few more units. That's fine. We're going to come in here, and we should easily win this battle. Maybe. This is not actually showing us the battle. And we are victorious. Okay. Beautiful. So apparently this guy, the general of the mercenaries, was injured in that battle. Noted. We're going to cap this back, and then we're going to chase these again. Hmm. A troublemaker, huh? Sure, we'll round him up. Okay, uh, continue to take this. That's unfortunate that that actually stopped that siege, but sure. Okay, so it is now done. Beautiful. I'm not sure why they walked around here and now are coming back towards us. This seems like a bad idea, but okay. We're going to fight them there, and that's a stack wipe. Okay, so that should be that handled. So let's get rid of these mercs. Perfect. And are we still building here? We are. So that seems fine for now. We need a governor in Armenia, and that'll be this fine gentleman. And now the question is, what do we need to build out over here? So in Bouchar. That is out over here. Okay, that's right here. Noted. So I don't want to exceed this fort. We'll see what happens with this. We produce salt here. So I want to build a foundry. I want to build three mills. I want to build three slave traders. Get rid of the noble district. The grand theater can stay. The port is going to go. The tax offices can stay. We're going to put in a tavern and one forum. Okay, so that looks good. Next up would be Kanat. And Kanat is this here. I kind of... Mm. We produce spices here. I think I'm going to say the four forts are enough. And we're going to do the noble districts, the citizen districts, and a court of law. There we go. So that'll be fine for the moment. Next up is Aragon. Not the one you think it is. It is this one up over here. Okay. So that's fine. We would definitely go for... Okay, that's a great temple here right now. Marble? Sure. We'll just get some marble production going. That seems fine. We are, of course, making this into a second-line fortress here, and that'll be okay. The intention here is for that to make it difficult for these guys to attack up into this territory. So we just want a good line of defense here for now. Okay, next up would be Kazaroon, which is right over here in the same area. Wonderful. Produces glass. We already have three shrines here. I don't know what the point of those are. We'll get the noble districts and get rid of this freeman district. We'll put in citizen districts and courts of law. Cool. Okay, these guys should be done with their roads. Yes, they are. And I want them to come up and station, like, up here for now. I'm still concerned about these guys attacking us again after the truce is up. We'll see if they do. 
That'll be interesting for sure. So next up is Sinos. That is not how that's spelled. There's an A in there. Okay. Sounds good. So that is off over this direction. Two building slots available here. So I put in a forum and a tavern. Looks good. Jerusalem. Oh my. I'm a little surprised that we have two building slots here. Okay. Sure. So we clearly need an aqueduct. And I'm going to put in a library as well to bring us up to 20. So that'll be fine for now. Next would be Tazor, which is right up over here. Okay. And no, I don't want to recruit that. Stop. No, stop it. There we go. I want to get in here. So we can get rid of the commercial districts. We no longer need the ports here. And the taverns can go in. We can put in a Freeman district and then some three tax offices. That'll be fine for now. We have some starving pops out over here. Okay, so this city, we already put a farmer's market in. We're importing livestock right now. Okay, let's import some grain, or rather some rice. It is February, so that will boost this up. That'll be good. Okay, Yabrin can actually be colonized, which we will do. Wonderful. And we have a decision available. Negotiate with the revolting slaves. Pass. We're not going to do that one. So Judea is losing a lot of food right now. We actually have some pretty serious food issues, looks like. Well, it is March, so we'll see what this looks like. We'll address it as pops start starving. It's the way that this is going to go. So we do have some pops that were dying up over here. This should be growing now. I definitely want to put in a farmer's market here to boost up the food. We don't have one here either. I'm going to ditch a library, and we're going to put in a farmer's market there. What about over here? We could definitely put in a farmer's market and a tax office. There's actually a lot of cities up here, so boosting our food production is really not a bad idea. Okay, we can do something along the lines of that. That should help food in this province significantly. We can see currently we're in May and Judea is still losing food. So let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Okay, so minus 14.65, mostly due to Yeraho and Emma. Ohm. So that is here. And we have a farmer's market there. And Emma, Ohm, which we also have a farmer's market in. Okay. In which case, we should probably cancel this iron route and bring in some rice. That'll help matters. We can also cancel some of these light metals, or rather base metals, and bring in more rice. Okay, we'll see what that does here. Positive. Excellent. By a lot. So that'll be good. And what else do we have here? Who is actually negative right now? So, Mardian. Where is this at? Okay, so that's this province here. Understood. We have these farming settlements coming in, so that should be a significant improvement. Let's see how that changes as these farming settlements finish, which they're doing right now. So let's give this a month tick, and these guys aren't building road, so we can put them, like, uh, that would be 4.25% attrition. This would be zero attrition up here. They might eat some of this food. So that's noted. We can put in a tavern here, and overall, this produces spices. Sure, we don't need this library. We don't need the granary here necessarily, although it's maybe not the worst thing in the world. We can put in this farmer's market. We can get rid of the court of law. And then we can put in three mills. We can put in a slave trader and have it be something kind of like that. Okay, so there's that worked around for now. And let's see what's happening here. Okay, so minus 1.75. This isn't so bad. And we're not automatically trading here. We can import some grain. And maybe some rice as well. So something kind of like that. That'll put us very positive on the food here. So we can get these guys drilling. Although I'm thinking here, we actually could use a little bit of road up here. So let's move them back over to Aragon over here. Ooh, a couple of citizens. Yeah, looks good. 
They'll get demoted if they need to, so that seems fine. Okay, so we're now going to put these guys back onto build road, with the idea being that they're going to build a road like that. Okay, there we go. And these lads, they should be drilling. Beautiful. Okay, what else do we need to put in here? Well, we've got Bira. So that is out over here. Wonderful. What do we need to put in? A Freeman District and a Tax Office is the answer. Next up is Roshain, and that is right up over this way. This one, of course, is going to be a pair of Freeman Districts. Then we've got Shamash Yadi, which is up over here. Cool. So this needs a pair of forums. Looks good. Okay, I'm just checking in on our food here. It's currently October, and by Yuda went negative. Okay, so we do have a farmer's market here. We can actually put in a Freeman district and a tavern, which seems relatively fine. Minus 0.53. Now, everything here is desert, right? And that's a big part of the problem here, is that we need to supply these desert areas. So we could definitely think about bringing in a import route. That seems fine for the moment. That's the only province with a negative low food supply, so that seems okay. We'll keep an eye on that situation, though. That will likely need more. So then we've got Ninva, which is out over here. And we can build a mill here for sure, and we can build a tax office. Actually, not the tax office. We can get rid of the commercial district. I think keeping around the Great Temple is not necessary at this point. We're at 85% conversion. So I'm going to get rid of that, but we're going to keep the Grand Theater. We're only at 24% Hebrew, almost 25, but still. And then we're going to put in three Freeman districts. That looks decent. So now the question is, do we want to keep Gera around or do we want to annex them? It's an interesting question. And the reason why it's interesting is because we know we need to colonize all of this out over here. And we also know that we need to control two provinces that Gera currently controls. These two over here. So we need to own those. So eventually Gera will need to be integrated. And the question is, now that we've taken this, are they at all useful as a buffer state? The thing is, we know that these guys can bring a ridiculous number of levies, right? Which would mean that we'd have to raise our own levies. We can probably match them in that regard. But it's going to be a very micro y sort of warp if they attack us. We have what we need from them, though. So what's stopping us from just making friends with them? Seems to me like we can at least work on that. Okay. Yeah, we'll work on working up our relations there. Seems absolutely fine. And then this isn't connected out over here. There should be a road connection there. So let's come back up over here, make sure that there's a road connection right there. Beautiful. We did just lose the commander here. Okay, that's not that big of a deal. What else do we have here? Skill 7? That's not ideal, but I guess it'll work. There you go, buddy. Fantastic. Okay, how's our food looking? So it's currently December. We can see that we're going to have a problem specifically here. We can enable automatic trading. And this is the main reason why this is a problem is because we hold only a couple of locations here, right? So this is a slave estate. This is a slave estate. Neither of those produce food. I'm going to pull back from a noble district here, and I'm going to put in a farmer's market. And I'm going to do the same thing here, although it's going to be a court of law into a farmer's market. Something like that. So that will help matters, but it's not going to solve it. Okay, a minor addendum. 
Why are these slaves not gone? Is something still occupied by the slaves? Hang on. We can probably see better in Atlas map mode. I don't see anything occupied by them. That doesn't mean it's not. But we stack wiped their force, and I believe they don't have anything else occupied. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting, for sure. I'd like to clean up some of this territory up over here eventually, but these guys are the threat right now, and I don't want to fight them. I think we could beat them again, and we already beat them once. But I think we could beat them again, but I don't want to have to. That's the thing. It would, it would be a large investment. A very, very large investment. Okay, so we need this one. Cool. So that would then be a tavern. We would not need this commercial district anymore. I think keeping around the Grand Theater here is absolutely fine, but we will build a pair of forums. There we go. Next up would be Haditha. So that is right down over here. Excellent. So we put in a forum and a Freeman district. Cool. And then we've got Kaladash. So that guy is right up over here. Wonderful. This is going to be a pair of taverns for sure. We have a lot of civilization value to build up there. Wow. Okay. That's a crazy amount of civilization value. Next up would be Araba. And that is down over here. Commercial Ventures finishing up. Okay. That is right up over this direction. That's very, very good. We can now start importing specifically rice here. Rice is the best thing to import because it gives the highest food value. And that should allow us to build up some amount of food here. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, so we're then working on a Raba and we need a pair of Freeman districts there. Looks good. Next is Rizaya. And that is right up over here. Cool. So a forum and a Freeman district. Then we've got Payon. Which is out over here. This actually only needs one building slot. That's going to be an academy. And that's because I accidentally clicked on the foundry instead. But Lehman Barkaius, if I can type, that usually helps. Right down over here. Wonderful. So that'll be a pair of Freeman districts. Cool. And Kyrene would be next. So I would definitely like to get through this building phase, which we're almost done with. And we can start thinking about taking over some of these territories out over here. Macedon would probably be the next target, and we do have a CB on them. So we would take their territories here, and then some of this out over this way would be the idea. And I think that'd be a good thing to do, for sure. Wait, we have a we have a territory here? I didn't know that. That's interesting. <laughs> well, we're not really in position to do this yet. That'll be a next episode sort of thing. Oh, okay. Apparently, I just accidentally took a screenshot while trying to backspace here. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, so Mariaba here needs what? We need a pair of tax offices. Cool. And then we would need Sid. That is not Psy, that is Sid. There we go. Right out over this way. Okay. So that is two building slots here as well, a Freeman district and a tax office. So Leb would be next. Cool. This is a research city, remarkably. And we built a pair of libraries there. Okay. And then we've got Kajrama. So at this point, we are done with all of these two building slot locations, right? And, no, not a library, a tax office. There we go. So that's good. Now we can take these guys and start moving them fairly slowly, but moving them regardless. Uh, where is this? I don't think we need a fortress here. We don't need manpower either. We don't need a conscription camp either. We'll take the manpower, but it's not going to be helpful. So we're going to head out over this direction. I want these guys to sit, like, here for now. We're going to be preparing to attack Macedon. 
So that's the idea. That means that these guys, they're going to want to sit like up over here or so. So we'll get them moving as well. Cool. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to be fighting Macedon. We're going to take a small amount of territory from them. Our only goal is to take their Anatolian territory here. We're not really interested in this out over here, although we are interested in using them as a buffer against Rome. Although Rome is not all that strong, to be honest. We probably don't even need a buffer against Rome. So that seems absolutely fine. We can just take what we want in that case. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Hiro Marutsu, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.